Dr. Liko episode. Uh, it's certainly been a while. I feel like that's what I'm saying at the start of every Taliko episode by now. So there's been a lot of stuff happening around Taliko, not necessarily in Taliko itself. Um, well, Adfo pretty much dropped out of Taliko by now. I guess you guys have seen he's been switching channels to a German channel, I believe Sean McBeard. And he's pretty much dropped out of Taliko with that too. I can fully understand that. I mean, the project has been going on for literal years now. I didn't quite give up yet, so that's why I'm here today. Yeah, I just wanted to let you know that Adfo is not a part of Taliko anymore since now. So yeah, certainly that's one of the reasons why it's been taking a lot of time for me to push out another episode. I also started up with university, I'm studying engineering, um, and that's been keeping me very busy. So Taliko has been pretty much on the slow lane lately. But I'm still trying to get out some updates um, and that's why we, we're here today. So yeah, I'm first off going to show off some of the stuff that's been happening in Taliko. It certainly doesn't justify the one year wait, but at least there's been some stuff happening in it. Um, and the major part is probably a guest effort by Calvin, or also known as Intim305, um, who's been redoing the coast of Taliko itself. Um, he's been reshaping a lot of stuff, he's been reprofiling some stuff, um, changing the layout up making the whole thing just a little more like the true RMC feel because I'm um, let's face it I didn't do a perfect job on that um, there was definitely room for improvement and he pretty much nailed it um, I prefer the whole thing a lot more now yeah huge thank you for that um, shout out to Intim305 he also has a YouTube channel which I'm gonna link in the description and probably the end card uh, if anyone want to check that out um, he's been doing some Planet Coaster content too uh, so yeah he's been working on the layout uh, he's also been working Working on the support structures. Um, he changed some stuff up to make it more to the true RMC feel. Um, he added a lot of supports, like he supported the whole turnaround back here um, and the inversion back here that uh, he also added. Um, so pretty much what's left now is this little turnaround, um, which we are gonna tackle in this episode most likely, so we can finally get done with the supports of Taliko itself. So what I've been working on since the last episode has pretty much been backstage areas and filling in some empty spaces here and there. So I guess we'll start off with the main backstage area I did, which is back here behind the plaza, um, which connects up the whole facade from the plaza and the storage building and stuff. And it has a staff parking lot and we have the loading base. Um, shout out again to Ruble for the trash disposal bin and the carts. And well, essentially Ruble's carts also make up the main logistics of this um, park. So I made this ramp back here and the carts can get up back here and access the main area of the park. And they can cross the road back here and access the second backstage area I made, which is back at Rubel's building here. Um, I also added in the fast food restaurant in here, so we had a lot of limited space here and I felt like a fast food restaurant would work well here. So you basically queue up here, get your food, can do self-service for the drinks and then you can sit outside. So the backstage area is also a lot smaller. Um, it's essentially just a small loading ramp and trash area. So yeah, that's been the part back here and I think I made this in the past year. I actually don't know for sure. Um, I essentially made some path work for the whole area, added the retaining walls by the turn here out of the station, which kind of finishes up this part of the layout. Um, I feel like it works well here, it's it's pretty flowy for the path work, adds some character to it I guess. And I also added Adfo's transfer tech facade, which you can see back here, added it to this curve, because I feel like it doesn't get enough attention back there, it's a really cool facade and I didn't feel too bad adding it in twice here, so yeah. And then we'll come back to Rubel's terrace he made for episode 7, um, added in the corner building here and the front facade and this lounge area on the terrace and inside I added the restaurant and I guess I'm gonna put in a night shot here for it. It's essentially just some benches um, and a pizza restaurant in there I believe. So one of the things I'm really not that happy with is this facade for the restaurant entrance area. The left side of it, that is. Um, the tall building just doesn't feel right. Um, so that's one of the things I'm gonna handle in the episode too. Uh, I'm definitely gonna rework that. So uh, yeah, I guess we'll just head into the time lapse and do some support work and facades.
So back we are. Um, I'm pretty happy with how the facade turned out back here. Um, it certainly strives off the main style we have in here, but um, as Rubel mentioned before in the earlier episode, it's it's just getting pretty hard at some point to edit and to stay at the exact same style all the time and carry it on without getting too repetitive. So um, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I felt like there was some sort of dome needed back there and I think this works well. It's a lot wider now um, and I also changed up this corner building a lot um, and this certainly drifts off the main style quite a bit um, but I feel like it still um, kind of fits in. I just felt like that building was way too plain. Um, it just felt too boring so I um, changed it up a little bit and I'm certainly a lot more happy with it now. Um, so yeah. And then finally, we also have the finished supports of Taleco. Um, so the whole custom support thing is over now. I'm certainly very glad about that. Um, again, huge thank you to Kelvin. Um, he helped me a lot with that. And I'm so glad it's finally done. And I'm really happy with how it turned out. Oh yeah. I don't think I showed this in the time lapse, but I also added in the catwalk for the transfer track because that's been missing all the time. And yeah, I didn't want to do it on both sides because it still felt like that would hide the whole facade back here. But um, I think it works out like that. I added some electrical boxes and I think it works pretty heavy with it. So yeah, that's been it for Teleco episode 8. Um, I hope I don't see you guys again in a year. I'm trying my best to do it a little earlier, but um, yeah, anyways, see you guys next time and thanks for watching.